Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, GCW, Planet Death, night two of the Tokyo Tour. Um, tomorrow will be, I think, Freedoms is who technically is hosting the event. It's actually on tonight. It's on Fight TV Plus right now. Um, let's see if I can get a hold of that card here. believe this is it here. Freedoms. Junkashi produced Shinkai Deathmatch Carnival. Yeah, Los Macisas is on the car. Yeah, so that's the part of the GCW. Since that is a Freedom, Pro Wrestling Freedom show, more than likely I will not review it because I typically don't watch a lot of their stuff to get to really know their, know their uh, wrestlers and stuff. Um, but some of the GCW talent will be on that show. So, Planet of Death was a GCW show. If you go to cagematch.com and look up GCW, you'll see a list of all their shows um, from the beginning of time. Um, anything in 2023 that's listed on there. I think there's only, let's see, Honor Slam I haven't watched because it was not available unless it's on the YouTube channel somewhere. But everything else I have watched in G GCW I have reviewed. And... Just like last year in January, of this January 24, we'll do a best of. Um, the first best of will obviously be Game Changer Wrestling. Um, but we're going to run down this card here. Again, this show happened last night, the 19th. It was on Fight TV Plus. Brett Lauderdale and Kaikoro were the announcers. First match, we had Shane Mercer taking on Chihiro Iri. Nice little brutal match. Um, these two guys are just nothing about punch you in the face kind of guys. Um, nine minute match. I ended up giving it two and three quarter star. Shane Mercer got the victory. And then the next we had a six man tag. Um, this got set up last night where we had the Joey Janela death match at the end of the main event there against Nasaha Takeda. Um, that four and a half star great death match. And then toward the end we had Blake Christian, Gringo Loco come out. We had Sasaki, Hirata, and Zazora come out for. Um, freedoms and kind of did this little kind of pretty much everybody got in everybody's business or brawling afterwards set up the six man tag so we had Blake Christian, Gringo Loco and Joe Janela taking on Takakashi Sakaki Tomohiro Hirata and Tora Sugaira um, Blake Christian, Gringo Loco and Joe Janela got the victory it was a nice little six man tag I ended up giving it a three and a half star um, because you had Blake Christian, Gringo, and Joey doing their um, top rope stuff, their high flying. Gringo did this freaking big old dive off the top rope, which is kind of cool to do. Um, his Lucha Libre background. Um, next up, we had a six person tag match representing GCW. We had Charlie Evans, Rina Yamashita, and Sawyer Wreck going up against Dasuke, Mascada, Yankee 2 Kinju, which is Izami. Kokoda, Yuka Miyamiata, um, Charlie Evans, Rina Yamashita, and Sawyer Wreck getting the victory there. I give that match three and a quarter. Had a little, little weapons involved, but not too much. Uh, it wasn't your full out death match like not the night before. Next up, we had Masha Takahita, who had that great, again, that four and a half star death match versus Joey Janela. On the first night of the tour, which was the new face of war, the reviews up here on Robert's Court Show. He's going up against Masha Slamovich, former GCW World Heavyweight Champion Masha Slamovich, uh, who in her own right is the Russian nightmare. Um, she is one talented woman, woman who can go out there and brawl with a guy in a death match, yet she can go on Impact Wrestling and wrestle for the not Women's Knockouts Championship. It's just great. Uh, Takeda got the victory there, ended up giving that three and a half as well. Nice little match, lost about 11 minutes. Then we had a six person tag that we got set up last night as well. Went Eerie, Takakuda, Iku, um, Tahashi, Sakuda, and Violento Jack came out and attacked Los Macisos. And so we had Jimmy Lloyd teaming Los Macisos against Eerie. Uh, Jimmy Lloyd and Los Macisos getting the victory there. I give it three and a quarter. This is about 13 minute match. And then our main event was a death match of June Kasi and John Wayne Murdoch, the Duke. 
Um, this match actually started out pretty good. Um, it didn't go over the top like the one last night. It just kind of, John Wayne Murdoch, he wrestles in some other deathmatch wrestling companies. Um, let's take a look here. Who else he's wrestled for here recently? He was the American Deathmatch Champion at one point. I'm a little behind in my ICW No Holds Barred stuff. Um, yeah, so ICW No Holds Barred, GCW, um, XCF, never heard of it. Um, let's see, Independent Wrestling at the Victory Gym. Hmm, intriguing. Yeah, ICW No Holds Barred, they've had certain, several different, I think, volume 40 foot we're up to, what are we up to? His last show was volume 49. Um, they actually have some really good stuff. Almost every match is a death match. He uh, wrestles there a lot as well. He was there. Yeah, he was champion. Oh, that's Honor Slam there. So yeah, he's uh, known on the death match scene. Uh, this was a good match though. June Costa getting victory. I end up giving it a three and a half. Um, so again, overall, it was a solid card. Um, Planet Death, GCW at Ching, the will be your first ring. Um, tomorrow night, again, last night, or tonight's show, excuse me, tonight's show is um, Freedom Show, so I probably won't be doing a review on that. Um, but anything GCW reviews right here in Armored Sports Show, actually, if you go on the main page, there is actually a playlist of nothing but GCW shows going back to 2020 Best Of, and then 2021 some reviews, 2022 and 2023, every show from WrestleMania Weekend, and then in 2023, every single GCW show. Full review right here. All right, that is Planet Death Review. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader for channel content.